new Stardust Dragon support is here, and Mario's gonna bring it up against our ancient enemy, the Red Dragon Arc Fiend. So, yeah. we're gonna see how they go. They had gotten some new support, and it's not for what you think. It's not for, like, Quasar. It's not for that manga version. No, mm -hmm. it's for that, um... It's for the one version of Stardust that's incredibly powerful, but had such a strong stigma to it. It's it called Majestic Dragon. It had the same negation stuff, but it wipes out your opponent's field for the cop for do for negating it. All right. But it has such a strong stipulation that it needed a specific level one tuner that was not searchable, and an already Stardust on the field. But by adding support to it. They made it possible that a lot of people are afraid that this is going to bring back Stardust in the front, in the forefront. That's going to make them too deadly to deal with. All right, we shall see. Yeah, I'm running a um, a Resonator deck that I'm pretty unfamiliar with. I think I ran it like once. This might even be a fan submitted deck from way back, but you know, I figured bring this instead of my Red Eyes version. Let the let these two decks go head to head in a raw form. Mhm. Mm well, I activate Synchro Chase, which. Gives me some protection on my Stardust in case okay. you try to bring something to counter them. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I that. Let's see. Okay. I normal summon my Junk Synchron, activating Junk Synchron. I can bring out the Turbo Synchron. Alrighty. Then I activate from my hand the new Stardust thing Synchron. There he is. Sending away the Turbo Synchron to bring it out. Activating the Stardust Synchron. I can add any Spell or Trap Synchron Monster. Ooh, very nice. I mean, Synchron Monster, Synchro yeah. Spell to my hand, like the Arriving Miracle. Very nice. Next, I activate the Arriving Miracle, which allows me to add the new Wish Converging Dragon to the top of the deck. <laughs> And then, yeah, you set yourself all up nicely. Mm -hmm. It's a good little combo, and it's built into the card. Oh, yeah. Although, I did mess up one thing, though. I'm what? still new to this deck. I meant to play Stardust Illuminate first, which allows me to send... Oh, well, no! <laughs> yeah, it's going to shuffle the deck. Yeah, because I was looking at it, you know, obviously you can bring out Stardust Dragon, and you then draw one card from the top of your deck. Yeah... Uh, I but am if going to. If illuminates more worth it, go for it. Mm hmm. Uh, I'll increase it by one. Okay. Because now I can activate the monster reborn to bring Very that nice. back out. Pretty cute. And let's bring out the Stardust Dragon with it. Unfortunately, of course, with any card that brings itself back into the graveyard. It does add that little stipulation of can't you can't. It, it needs to be banished. Ah, uh, banished. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's fair though. That's still good. I like the uh, bonus effect you get. You know the spell and, support for it. And each one gets their own effect. This one gets to bring itself back to the field. That one lets me get a draw and. Jeez. And I get a Stardust token. All right. Basically, I get a ton of support for this, for the stuff. And right. Stardust Trail also lets me get a... Let, allowed me to get that extra draw in. Now, let's do... Let's see. I am don't know if I can get to the Majestic, but I think I can get to a pretty decent level if I keep playing. So, Junk Synchron with the token that I just brought out. Sure. To bring out the Junk Speeder. Junk Speeder allows me to get some level three tuners to the field. This allows me to get another one out, like second Stardust Dragon. Man, your deck is killing it. I'm just looking at my opening hand like, well, these three cards will be useful later in the duel if I get there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's a fun field. Yep, and then I'll end the turn. Alright. I will use sphere mode. And 
<laughs> I would cry <laughs> right now if you had just lived uh, that the, in. The, the sauciest fear mode ever. <laughs> Three Stardust Dragons that bring themselves back. Uh, but not now, not now. <laughs> All right, well, oh, yikes. Hmm. This is not ideal. Um, hmm. I guess technically that can do that, but this guy... Yeah, we can make something happen. I think there's a play here. I'm just bad at Yu-Gi-Oh. So... People this, say I am. We're gonna normal summon the Red Sprinter. Activate his effect to summon Creation Resonator. Alrighty. And, yeah, that card's not gonna be of any use here. Um, so I definitely shouldn't have done that. I already messed up. Uh, but, we're, you know, we're gonna die if we don't do everything in our disposal. So we'll do this. Special summon this guy. I had a basic play. Thought I was going for a bigger play, but forgot, like, the first line of Crimson Resonator. So, I knew what I was doing, chat. It just didn't work. And we'll go for, um, this card. Yup. It would be nice if I had the other one in here, but we do not. So, we'll just use those two. Um, actually, do I need to use all three? No, why would I need to use all three? I don't know. Now, Moonlight Dragon out here. That's cool, right? Sure. And then... Yep, that's it. Ooh, that bad of a hand, huh? Yeah, I could have oh. done a more basic play, but, you know, I thought I was doing something a little crazier. But yeah, so, I mean, it is a bad hand. No no two ways around it. I would have had so, to, like, misuse material to get anywhere. Mm-hmm. Thanks to the effect of Starlight's Illuminate, as if since I control a Stardust monster, I can instead special summon the card I would normally send to the grave. Nice. Then, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna activate the Stardust Synchron from the grave. I'll send away one of the Stardust Dragons to get it out. Luckily, a lot of this stuff allows me to just, you know, get a lot of stuff rolling. It's true. All right, Stardust Trail activates. Oh, man. Then, of course, Stardust Illuminate allows me to mess with the level. I'll mess with one of the Stardust Trails. Let's make you a level three. Oh, wait, no. Mess that up. Oh, you got two of them. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I did forget to put a spark in here, but I don't really see the, the need for it since I already have all the other stuff. Okay. Let me see. All right, I guess just going for some basic attacks is probably best right now while I have the damage on you. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely wipe this field, so. Huh. All right, let's see what you can do. I just drew one of the key cards I needed for this called Doppel Warrior. Doppel Warrior is so good because it, it gives me so many like tokens for the cost of using it. Nice. All right, Crimson Resonator can now come out. So that's a free summon of that. And now we will use one of my two Return of the Dragon Lords in my opening hand. So that's always fun. That gets us some Moonlight. And we can return a card to your hand. Can't target the Stardust, of course. Um, darn it. Uh, trail, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, we'll hit Trail, because I feel like Synchron in your hand's a good thing. And then, unfortunately... These ones don't do much together, just actually, the two of them. Actually, I think if you were to try to return to the hand, it instead gets banished, so... Okay. I think that might have been, like, the better shot, actually. Because <laughs> I think it says when it leaves the field, banish oh, it instead. Yeah, true. Um, maybe I just targeted the wrong one. Anyway, uh, so that was my... Okay, so I haven't normal summoned yet. What level am I going for here? Because I got a 7 on the field and a, and a 2 on the field. So, I guess we want to go find a one. So, that'll have to be the Synchron Resonator. Unless, yeah, you ain't going to do nothing special. So, let's try that. You can just be special summoned as well. Not that it's super critical right now. I don't have any other cards to get going. And now... Like, I can do the Scarlight on you, but the whole thing about Stardust Dragons is... uh. When I would destroy you, you negate. Um, however, uh -huh. there's, there's one good thing about all that. Now I can go right into this boy. 
You know, let's see if we can, uh, let's see what happens in this exchange. I am curious. We'll go right into a Scarlight. Activate Synchron Resonator. That gets us back to hand. That's lovely. So that can come out for free. And uh, now this card. Okay. Oh, did I just not even use that last? That's probably what I did. Or... Oh, no, yeah. He wasn't a... Uh, he's a light dragon, not a dark dragon. Okay, so there is plays here. We will activate Crimson Resonator. And that can get me out. Uh, what do I want? Um, let's get a Red Resonator. And... I guess another Red Resonator. Or do I want to... Synchron Resonator. I don't know, I have enough things on the field to make certain plays happen. So, let's just do this. Don't know if I have the exact count right here. Yeah, because I'm a star above what I'm aiming for here. But, this, I can target this and give me some life points. That's nice. Yeah, recover what you lost. This can come out for freebie. Um, we can go into King Calamity, which is fun. Um, you know what I want to try, though? It might not work at all, but I think it might work. We're going to activate Scarlight. All right, guess I'll activate this Stardust and Negate then. Yep, and then I will hopefully be able to return of the Dragon Lords. Yes! All right. So that was the play there. This does get... When a Stardust is... A, when a Stardust monster is tributed for any means, I can bring this card out as a defensive means. Nice. Uh, what do we go for next? I suppose we can go into Bane. Uh, yeah, that sounds worth it. Negate all effects. That's good, too. I want all of it, though. But I only got one level one here to work with. So... Yeah, that's the thing. I haven't played this in a long time. I don't know the precise order that is best for this deck to work in, so apologies anyone who are avid Red Dragon players. Um... <laughs> But, Which apparently are quite a few, actually. Oh, yeah. No, it's plenty popular. I just love this card so much, so we're going to use it. Um, this and this. Confoim. Out comes this. And then... Ooh, that's fun. Uh, we will then activate Abyss. Let's go ahead and cancel that effect while we can. Then what can we do? We can bring that out, but I don't think we need it. Hmm... I guess we might as well activate Resonator Engine. Get these two little guys back in the deck. And then we can add to hand. Uh, and let's... I guess it, I guess that's true, actually. I'm looking at it like... Syn Red Dragons have always had the Synchrons to support them. And Stardust has always had the... Always had... I mean, Resonators. And uh, Stardust has always had, always had the Synchrons. Like, what's the difference between going in sync and resonating? True. Kind of has similar, you know, mentalities to it. Mm. Bring that out. And then we can go into... Um, yeah, I suppose there's no reason for us not to just jump right into this. Uh, ooh, actually, can we use multiple Scarlights in a turn? I guess there's no harm in finding out. So we'll do that and that. Conform. Activate. Okay. Um, is there anything? No, I can try to stop you, but. Ooh. Yeah, it just gets negated. Uh, I do get rid of that, of course, though, so it will just be him chilling here. Um, however, <laughs> that other return of the Dragon Lords. Of course you have one. Uh, I do. What kind uh, of hand did you have? Did you have, like, two of them as they started? Like, to... I had a hand that, like, if I get plays off, it's great, but if <laughs> it's not a lot to begin with. Um, however, it was, you know, by now enough. Um, so we'll do that. Of course, it activates and brings back to the field. Um, let's go for this. Which already activated its effect, so it's no additional gain there. I did it, guys! I'm great at Red Dragon Archfiends! <laughs> I definitely did mess up, too. I could yeah. have brought out one of the higher forms. Mm -hmm. I think I could have as well, um, but I wanted to like make sure I was in a confident position to do that. See, right. because if I would have done it and brought out the majestic version, mm -hmm. I not only would have negated, but even if you would have Dragon Lord protected, 
Um, I would have been able to wipe out every other card that wasn't dragon. Uh, very nice. Which might have left you in a much more like dangerous position. Easily could have been, yeah. All right, so I have to go first this time. Uh, now I have like a reasonable set of cards to play with, I think. So we're gonna start with Resonator Call. What would I like to add to my hand? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this game works. So this will let me summon that for free. I know I can get to an eight. Can I get to a nine? Well, I know with Sync Ground Resonator, I can kind of get there. So we'll just search that. Um, and I forget completely what the uh, level six dragon does, but we're going to find out anyway. It's all good. Um, so this card can be normal summoned, but we want to normal summon this card, even though it doesn't really matter. Unless I want to go for that. That's a fiend. And then this gets... No, I do kind of need the right of the Razor Ether out here, so... We'll just do that. We'll waste his effect on a monster that can already special summon himself. Oh, wait, no, we don't have to. Sure, we'll just go for this guy. I don't know much about Magical King Moonstar, but we'll summon him. Let's see, his effect, let's see what it does. Hmm. Uh-oh. The first time I've seen you use this card. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, no, why can I not use this now? Well, that's a problem. Hmm. What are you trying to use? Um, Wandering King Wild Wind. Control a fiend with a 1500 attack. You can special summon this. But I think this uh, might have shut it down. A new card, I was like, oh, I'll play it. Until the end of turn, switch card comes. Also, you cannot special summon except for a synchro summon. Meaning you have to use what you have on the field before using this guy. Yep. Oh, well. All right. You flooped. You flooped. I mean, it's a card I never played before, and I wanted to just play it. Who reads card mm -hmm. effects, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me see. Um, hmm. I'm going to set a card actually. No, wait, because I'm I have a better opportunity if I play the patient game rather than trying to go out the gate. Fancy, boom, running. fancy. All right. Well, that's a reasonable thought. I guess I'll go for that now that I actually can, and uh, I will go and go for the basic play. Summoning a red ri rising dragon. Okay. Out so it comes. Bring out your red rising dragon. Yep. That gets a resonator back in play. Yeah, I'm not sure how to play against a, a set field of Stardust Dragons, I'll be honest. I'll use that. The life points don't hurt nobody. In fact, it literally heals me. All right, we set a card. Now we have multiple cards that can just be special summoned. Well, one's normal summoned, but you know what I mean. Um, huh. Let's see. That's not ideal. Really, nothing from Scarlight's gonna get me any benefit. Um, hmm. So, I guess we'll just... Can I go right into this? No, I cannot. All right, Moonstar will continue to be a useless card to me. Yeah, let's special summon Synchron Resonator. And then, yeah, we do gotta go into Scarlight. So we'll do that with you two, Confoim. Now he comes, we do not intend on using his effect. And then we can... Well, you don't have a level nine, I don't think. I'll specifically do the best card in the deck. <laughs> oh, okay. Or at least the, I don't know, the best card in the deck, but my favorite card in the deck that I used to use in plenty of other decks. This adds another Resonator to my hand. And let's see. I need to inflict battle damage to get that effect off. So do I just climb past Red, Hot Red Archfiend Abyss? That sounds stupid. He's such a great card. But I guess I could like set myself up for further success. But you have a bunch of set cards. Well, I don't know what to do here. And I kind of <laughs> wish I didn't have a Magical King Moonstar on the field. Like I'm hating every bit of this card. Uh, I guess there's a chance that he could hurt you. Yeah, we're gonna find out! That uh, card has no defense! Mirror Force. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so we'll try to go for a nice attack here. Cool. Effect does go through. We can put back out this boyo. Now, unfortunately, I can't... Uh, Continue to summon my other guys while this is going on. So I will not get additional crazy plays off. But do I go for a Bane here? 
Uh, yeah, I do. So much. Okay. So Red Archfiend Bane. Activate his effect. Get this stupid guy off the field. And bring the Abyss right back. Called by the grave. Go. Yeah, it would be a great time for it, wouldn't it? I wish. No, I don't run that card in here. Because I had to make space for certain other cards. And now, is there a level 12 that I can just do by doing it? Because I know I got, of course, Supernova and whatnot. But that needs very specific things. And that's just in there. Yeah, okay. I think this is where this is going to end. Because that takes two tuners. And I have two level two tuners. Which is not the same. I need two level ones for that to go through. I'll end my turn there. I enjoy having a heart red archfiend abyss on the field. And of course, just the power between these two. Decent. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now I'm going to use Graceful Revival to bring back the Turbo Synchron I just, you destroyed last turn. Spicy. Now, I get to activate the Double Warrior that's in my hand. Okay. Which allows me to bring him out. Then I'll normal summon the other double warrior by normal summoning it. Alright. Now, let's see. Using Turbo Synchron, I then use the other two to bring out Junk Speeder, Junk Speeder's effect, but along with the other double warriors. Yeah. They just bring out those tokens, right? Yeah. What's Speeder do again? Uh, allows me to bring out a tuner. Okay, is he a tuner himself? No. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna negate his effect. I hope you just have a bunch of non-tuner material on the field. Oh, you'd be right. Okay. You know what? Probably unpopular opinion. Playing Yu-Gi-Oh is so much fun when you don't know what the cards do. Because <laughs> yeah. you just make an educated guess towards that sort of thing, and I'm. it's nice when it pays off, you know? The worst thing is, I was kind of hoping that you were going to be patient, because then I could have just brought out the Excel Synchron, and Ooh. brought out, and that was going to be a Synchro Tuner instead. I know there's a lot to be afraid of in there, so I was waiting for an opportunity to uh, pop it as early as possible, and then you were like, Doppel Warrior. I'm like, well, that ain't it. Doppel Warrior, that definitely still ain't it. Yeah, I was hoping that you were going to try to be patient. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to use it on the uh, trap card. That was I immediately thought about it, of course. Um, well, that would have stopped me dead stop anyway. Yeah, but I was thinking, oh, he probably has another tuner left, but seeing as you're kind of running towards this play, mm -hmm. it suggests that you didn't have another... But, hey, you got tokens. Yeah. Let me see. I can play this, though. And if you do run in... Okay. Okay. So, if you do if you do what I hope and go straight to your biggest monster, I can still win this. All right. We'll see how it goes, then. Um, yeah, I guess there's no harm in just flipping up, opening up the red carpet. Oh, I only have one resonator in here. Oh, well. Just more stuff. Well, that's funny. Hmm. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna do it just to do it. Is it the best use of this card? Nah, but it's funny. Mind control. Okay, but why, though? I don't know. I can make stuff out of it. <laughs> why not? <laughs> As I said, it's not the best use of the card, but I can use it. I'm also not using the ultimate version of this deck. Of course... The ultimate version of this deck, apparently online, is using, mm -hmm. like, a bunch of stuff to bring out, like, Quasar and all that with it. But Spicy. I decided not to use that version since they uses so many Link stuff that would make this a 20-minute turn. Yeah. And, like, the turn you did looked complicated enough that it might be hard to learn immediately. But mm -hmm. definitely, like, down the line, I'm down to fight it. All right. So let's see. This can let me get something back. Uh, I get... and nah, I don't want to go for that. Um, but what I will do is I'll normal summon, bring out Red Resonator, and now we have plenty of options to... Uh, I guess we just go into another Scarlet Light. Yeah, because we can use them once that stuff clears the field. Uh, well, then we'd lose the Red Res the Synchron Resonator we just brought out. 
What's the most hot red dragon archery and king calamity all about? I forget. Let's see. For the rest of this turn, your opponent can activate cards. Yeah, that's, that's kind of exactly what I want right now, isn't it? Um, and then I can use you, you, and that'll be the abyss to finish that out. And, yeah, like, that just sounds like it'll win me the game. So we'll do it. As much as I love hot red archery and abyss. Activate the effect. You, sir. Add that back to hand. And then you do that thing. Cool. And uh, technically I can still go. I don't have a normal summon. Uh, what's this boy do again? Dur, 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 dur. You can banish this card to add a fiend type tuner. So I can just keep adding stuff. Uh, if I can get another tuner out, this would be great. Um, well, actually, I don't need one. I could just get rid of the Red Rising. But Red Rising's out here chilling, you know? He's doing his thing. Oh, this one will do it for sure. Creation Resonator. And he can special summon himself. And uh, technically, I can just go into a Hot Red Archfiend Abyss with that. But I'll keep more material if I just get rid of him. And bring the one back from the grave. So I think that's a win. Um, but we'll battle and find out. Attack! Attack! Yeah. Yeah, I needed that, uh, I needed the speed warrior on my side to do what I needed to. Oh, uh, and plus King Calamities stops you from activating effects this turn anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Did... Hey. So my best monster I know beats your best monster, but bringing it out... Getting is there, difficult. yeah. Because, like, along the way, most of my guys are solid. Like, Scarlight... Oh, most of, most of most of mine are so good at protective effects and and all that stuff to make sure I get to the end point. Mm. But I need to learn the deck a little bit better. Like for one, the level four regular monster that isn't a tuner. On a lot of online decks, they they don't use her. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly think it's just because a lot of people just don't see the use in her since she just when a monster is tributes when a monster is tributed bring her out and that's supposed to combo up with the tuner that if you tribute a monster on the field special summon him that's supposed to combo it out and get you an instant stardust but the fact that she needs to either be in the hand or graveyard to activate it yeah i sure what a lot of people just think is that you just need to use it you know it's better used for another purpose yeah people probably just think that takes too much time to set up you know with the pacing that you get wants to move these days mm -hmm. um however that's that. Looks like the, at least at the moment, Red Dragon Archfiend are going to retain their crown in this little matchup. But as Mario oh, said, I, there's plenty more to learn about his deck. So oh, I expect like, to see it again soon. Like if I did not mess up that draw, I would have immediately had my uh, yeah, my that majestic. Been mm -hmm. My majestic. But I messed up and basically in order to get that extra draw I needed, I needed to play that other card first and then play the card I just added to my hand. Mm -hmm. If I messed up my Crimson Resonator, I would have been able to get Supernova if I had just, you know, not gone into the wrong thing. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah. You know, maybe we'll see Stardust fighting another deck at some point soon. Let us know in the comments down below what deck you'd think that they'd be a good matchup against. Leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. We'll see you then. See ya, folks.